Uh, okay, so thank you very much for inviting me here. My name is Balin Balázs. I'm from Hungary, Budapest, from a, a, a research group called Environmental Social Science Research Group, ESSRG. And we are a group of uh, logical economists and uh, environmental sociologists, uh, partly based at uh, former agricultural university uh, next to Budapest uh, in an institute called Environmental uh, and landscape management, uh, and partly um, 10 of the researchers uh, uh, forming uh, an SME uh, called Environmental so Social Science Research Group. And through this group, we are um, already involved in many European projects, and also I cooperate uh, uh, with Moya for, uh, for long on, uh, I'm doing my own research on um, local food system development in Hungary and Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, what I'm going to talk uh, today here is um, um, coming from uh, an FP7 project called uh, the Science Cafe 2, uh, where we are cooperating uh, <coughs> with um, systems engineers and, and also some social scientists uh, from Italy and here from the UK uh, to develop a platform which is um, um, helping uh, citizens to participate in, in various problem uh, spaces. Uh, so the mission and objectives of these projects are, are manifold, but the most important one is uh, uh, to, to promote a deeper engagement on social issues, and especially building on the concept of uh, scientific citizenship. We, we are not promoting that everyone should be a scientist, but that everyone uh, has, uh, is entitled to analyze it his or her specific problem spaces and um, um, reach a shared uh, sense making and harvest uh, collective knowledge. So therefore, uh, this group uh, of um, uh, developers uh, is uh, now finishing uh, a portable virtual platform, which is specifically um, supporting citizens uh, in, in democratic uh, decision making and, um, and participatory uh, engagement processes. It also, um, it, it's a little bit over ambitious FP7 project and of course it is uh, offering also an observatory and a support tool for, uh, for all these kind of um, participatory engagement activities. And it is also looking at participatory engagement methodologies, looking at different paradigms, different patterns of uh, how participatory engagements and ways of uh, relate, relations are, are developing. Um, and all in all, it would like to promote this participatory engagement culture. So this is how uh, it uh, links to the work uh, that I'm doing on, on um, local agri-food issues. So the consortium is comprised of uh, these four partners, two Italians, the National Research Council, uh, in Rome and the University of Florence, uh, ESSRG, us, and the UK partner uh, Systems Engineering uh, Center in the University of Reading. Uh, Atabadi was here yesterday, but I don't know, he's not here today. Uh, this whole uh, FP7 project is financed through the CAPS construction. I don't know if you are aware of this. This is a very interesting uh, initiative of DG Connect. Uh, collective awareness platforms for sustainability and social innovation. Um, to save time, to put it very simply, coming from a new hand, um, handbook for practitioners, the definition is for these collective awareness platforms is uh, that these are uh, gateways, ICT uh, systems, um, leveraging the emerging network effect by combining online social media, um, distributed knowledge creation and data from real environments and in order to create awareness of uh, citizens' awareness of different problems and possible solutions, requesting collective efforts and even new forms of social innovation. So basically this is the, um, 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 the, the crowdsourcing model, the bottom-up uh, um, crowdsourcing model. And this is the point where uh, previous works on civic food networks, food democracy, and food citizenship um, uh, can come uh, to the picture. 
uh, yesterday and also today, we very much uh, focus or, or uh, the focus was mainly on market and government based uh, government based uh, uh, mechanisms. Uh, which are actually experiencing a multiple crisis. And in the recent years, uh, in the literature and also in reality, we more and more see that uh, citizens are uh, gaining a new momentum and they uh, manage the food systems themselves. They play a much uh, more active role in the initiation and the maintenance of, of <coughs> these uh, new forms of uh, producer-consumer. Uh, relations um, they try to from both sides from producer and co uh, consumer side regain the control mm -hmm. over the ways in which their food is uh, 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 produced and and provided um, so again uh, I will skip these uh, definitions but obviously um, this whole idea is connected to uh, food democracy and and food citizenship that we are actively involved, not only as a right, uh, but also uh, more than that, uh, as, a, as, a, as a practice uh, uh, to, to, to manage and shape the food system. Uh, so these are basically the main issues that motivate uh, people to participate in these uh, um, uh, food systems. And we already very well known uh, from uh, one and a half day workshop, who are the main target groups, main stakeholders around these issues. And we also have an idea what are the network features of the food systems themselves that call for uh, digital technology. Uh, I would like to highlight and, uh, what Moya said in, uh, yesterday at the very beginning of, um, of, of this workshop that these tactile spaces, the social material links, are, are the basis. Um, of, of the food systems which develop uh, um, between producers, processors, and uh, consumers. And these, are, um, these relations are patterned in a horizontal way in contrast to, to the dominant uh, agro-food system which is building mostly hierarchical uh, uh, chains. Um, and this new type of governance uh, which is initiated by these civic groups is uh, self-organized and, uh, and horizontal. Um, so this is where actually we uh, try to link our work in this consortium uh, where we are talking about uh, different paradigms of uh, participatory engagement. Um, and we are uh, listing in one deliverable several of these. Uh, obviously they can be, they can be um, very easily transformed into digital technologies like for example an interactive information provision, uh, or an ask and tell model, or uh, consulting with different communities, uh, even going to mapping or co-designing exercises. So these are uh, different uh, problem uh, spaces where different participatory paradigms uh, uh, should be uh, used to facilitate uh, the uh, deliberation. Uh, what are the pinch points and the pain points, if you call it, in this project? So uh, actually, what are the specific needs from, uh, from uh, digital technologies and, and ICT professionals? Uh, we have a long list of these kind of user requirements from different workshops that we did with uh, potential beneficiaries and early adopters of, uh, of this uh, platform. Um, and basically, one of them is to share experiences and facilitate the transition to their specific goal, but in food communities, this is a sustainable and fair food uh, uh, system. Overcome the separation between different stakeholder groups, uh, then create an innovative uh, learning environment, help uh, the visioning, creating scenarios, um, managing user profiles, stakeholder profiles, and experts' databases. Uh, then again, having access to different uh, infrastructures and resources, uh, create associations and cooperation uh, spaces between um, different initiatives and, and stakeholders, uh, the crowdfunding model, and also the facilitatory um, requirements. So what actually this Science Cafe um, consortium can offer? It can offer 
a customizable uh, tool, a platform, which is called Citizen Say. Um, it is, uh, the tool is good to integrate and manage knowledge about different uh, visions, scenarios, user profiles and, and expert or stakeholder databases. Integrate, um, it can integrate specific uh, functionalities uh, that are specifically uh, uh, um, uh, designed for, for various problem spaces uh, by various stakeholders. Uh, manage the knowledge which is, uh, which is co-generated through uh, the usage of this platform and um, uh, consult with experts, set up databases. Um, basically this is what uh, this uh, project will deliver by the end. And I would like to give you just uh, a very quick uh, overview of how this platform uh, looks like, how these ICT professionals uh, designed it. I cut it uh, a lot from my slides to save time because I uh, would like to, uh, you to also to enjoy uh, the lunch. So basically it has a, 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 an entry point where you have to, to log in or, or sign up at some point. Um, all community of practices who make use of such platform um, can create their own personal spaces. Uh, personal profiles and add various things to it, like for example, different kinds of media, uh, articles, uh, different uh, 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 genres. They can connect to all the, the very well-known uh, social um, collaborative tools, LinkedIn, Facebook, and so on. Uh, they can invite people, and so it is well integrated with that. Uh, you can make searches in it, and it is fully integrated with these two platforms. Also, uh, from you can use Twitter um, in a in a search uh, database, and then you can create personal activities. This can be again various kinds uh, defined according to uh, the stakeholder requirements. Uh, you can actually create uh, any kind of activity within this uh, online space. It is fully integrated with uh, Google Hangout, so um, um, this is also possible to, uh, to, to use it in, in this collaborative way. And finally, I would like to uh, show you a couple of uh, um, possibilities where this work can be <laughs> upscaled or further developed. I look through all the digital technologies uh, related calls in uh, Horizon 2020, especially connected to uh, the food issues and sustainable agriculture. And there are uh, not that many, only these three, actually, which explicitly say here we are, we, we would like to concentrate uh, on, <coughs> on, uh, on building uh, uh, sustainable food systems <coughs> with the use of digital technologies, ICT technologies. Um, one specific call is about uh, sustainable crop production. Uh, 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 the other one is uh, on, um, on biological contamination, again, of crops and the food chains. Uh, and, and, uh, and the one which is in this year uh, is on uh, nutrition uh, security, security uh, uh, connected to the new policies. And then I also look through how this uh, collective awareness platform school, which is designed by the DigiConnect, incorporates uh, uh, further possibilities to, to develop, uh, uh, to co-develop digital technologies and, and local food uh, systems. And there are uh, actually four specific directions which uh, offer new spaces. The one is about uh, pilot projects. These are usually very compact, uh, multidisciplinary experiments. Um, and and um, different kinds of stakeholders could be invited, especially from the food sector. Uh, and, 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 and they can work together in, in these kind of projects. There is another one which is about uh, an internet science. Uh, um, making a multidisciplinary research on this area. So for example, digital technologies and agro-food issues 
uh, how it could be facilitated through various platforms and what are the hindering and facilitating factors, what are the motivations and the incentives that are needed for different stakeholders to, uh, to harvest the, the, uh, the collective wisdom. Uh, there is a third one on digital social platforms. Um, this is directly connected to what you've been talking about, uh, the um, European um, uh, Innovation Partnership. So basically this is how uh, DigiConnect is understanding your uh, uh, AEPs. And then there is a kind of a, a coordinating or management uh, type of call. Yeah. Uh, this, this is it. Thank you.